let's see what this is about. Snap Tight Max. This one has more parts than the other one. I think the other one is also from Ravel. I forget, but there is also another snap kit that's more of a toy of the same Raptor. This kit actually has more parts, so that's why I went for this one. 49 parts. I think the other kit had, had less. So let's check this out. The manual, which we can go through. These are actually probably um, stickers. They are not decals. So I have to probably figure out if I will use this or not. Okay, axle. Here are the tires. Big and beefy, I might have to paint the, paint the rims. Here's the interior. Decent number of parts, almost like a regular kit. Pedals, dash, door panels are separate, that's good, good sign. Windows, separate windows, front and back, that's good. Windshield, back windows. There goes the grill. Well, interior, truck bed. This is my first pickup truck kit. So that will be fun. Okay, looks like a quick, easy build, just like any other curbside kit. Only difference is that there are stickers in this kit, and it's snap tight. But I'll be using glue most likely. Looks like a exhaust pipe. I have to open that up. It's solid. The wheels, tires are beefy. You can door panels. We can paint those up with some details. There you go. Disc brakes. Oh, this is neat. Look at this. It's all one piece and simple, but there's actually a lot of detail. Look at that. This is the most detail I've seen in a kit where the chassis is one piece. Dash is pretty detailed too. A little infotainment screen, touch screen. Not that little, but all weather floor mats built in. Here are the seats. Grill. The big mirrors. Bumper. Tailgate. Look at that. Pre-tinted rear glass. Perfect. Metal axles. Front windshield, it's pretty thin. That's good. So, especially with a kit so big and having the windshield so thin, it's gonna look even more realistic. Brake lights. See, so a little bit of flash here. So light sanding would take this out. It's, it's not heavy, it's actually very thin. So just a little bit of sanding with some fine sandpaper will actually take it out. There's some detail, a lot of detail with the rear here. See? So use light coats of paint, we can pick out all this detail. Usually in a regular kit, some of this detail will be emblems, separate pieces, etc. But it's all molded in, so just a lot of, we'll just have to spend a lot of time picking out those details. Look at that. 